Hey y'all, she was seven. Okay, so it's been a while. How are you doing? Yes, this is a wig, you guys. My hair didn't magically grow overnight, but I just got finished filming on my beauty channel and reviewing this if you want to go check it out. Okay, Ashira Star is my beauty channel. Also, I wanted to talk about a subject that a lot of women were asking me about in the group. They were asking me, okay, we can find dates with guys that are financially stable or well-to-do. We can, you know, we can date and do that thing. Um, but how do we land a long-term wealthy boyfriend or husband? How do we land that? Um, well, it takes a lot of work, okay? It takes work to land someone that wants to be with you every day, all day, not all day, but every day, um, monogamously, and take it to that next level of commitment, okay? You have to be the one that they see in their future, okay? You have to fit into their circles. You have to look the part. You have to act the part. You have to be able to represent him. So if you're not there yet, physically or mentally, then you're probably not gonna have a lot of luck landing a long term, okay? Because if if a lot of guys just take on the first or second girl that they start dating, and like seriously, it's gonna be a lot of clash, you know, because you might not understand what he expects of you, and you know, you you might not be used to certain things, or, you know, it's going to be hard for you to adjust and it's going to take work and blah, 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 blah. So it's best to date guys who are wealthy for a while and get to know how things work in their world. You know, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, what they like, what they don't like, you know, what's um, how do the wives of their friends act, you know, or their um, friends, girlfriends, how do they look, how do they act? You know what do, what kind of things do they do you know so study you got to study how everything is and then you become that you become wife material or girlfriend material of someone who's financially stable you know educated you know entrepreneur uh millionaire well however you how you want to go you study that circle okay and you hang out in that circle and you don't date outside that circle okay if you stop dating outside of the circle of the type of men you want to marry it's going to get easier and easier okay because if you're outside dating you know whoever but then you want to uh, marry somebody that's financially stable then you're not learning the process you're not learning their world you're not learning you know the, the behavior because you're outside dating you know someone that you don't really want to marry because you're lonely and you just want someone that's not how you do it you stay single until you land the big one okay it's worth it okay women that have like a bunch of exes and a bunch of boyfriends and stuff like that that are not in this circle they usually can't get in because they're so used to dealing with these type of men over here that they treat a well-to-do man the same way and that's not they're not the same and you can't treat them the same the same tricks don't work on them so that's why I'm saying get around guys that are the type of men you want to marry and only date those kind okay study them become what they expect you know if you're too strong-willed if you're not naturally feminine if you're not able to submit to a certain degree to the man and let him lead because you you've been so conditioned to control everything and to do everything yourself it's gonna be a little hard so you have to practice okay you have to let the guy lead you have to follow um, you know what he's talking about you have to you know compliment be the person that he wants in his life permanently you know his his cheerleader his representative his uh, wife image the image of like a, a good wife that he chose he can be proud of he can take you to dinners galas meet the family you know look the part okay and when a man sees a woman that looks the part because men go by looks first okay when he sees a woman that looks like a wife he's gonna inquire further about her 
he's going to be like asking her questions like test questions like so what do you think about children or you know what, what do you see yourself in five years you know when men are truly interested in you for the long term they ask those type of questions um you know and it's because you have the look the personality and the manners to actually graduate to that level but if you're not like the material that they're looking for they're not going to ask you any of those questions it's not good they're not going to get too deep into your business they're just going to date you for a few weeks and then just be gone because you're not marriage material now a lot of women are just out there to date they don't care about getting married but the ones that are you have to be you have to be more cunning you have to be you have to pay more attention you have to treat him more special you have to give him more affection you have to make him not be able to live without you you got to put all the other women that he's dated to shame you know you have to be the only one that sticks out in his memory after he leaves the date okay because if you just start dating him chances are he's probably dating someone else or just got done dating someone or has someone on call to date when he's bored so you have to be better than all those chicks combined so that he's the only you're the only one he's calling and only one he wants to be with and before you know it you're going to be girlfriend okay so and when you talk to him always say we don't say i and you or me and you say we we should go do this or you know we look so cute together oh we have so much in common we have such good chemistry you know we kiss good together you know keep using the word we 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 us 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 you know get it in his mind that you guys are a couple before you're even a couple when you go out and if you see someone that you know or a friend and you introduce him introduce him it's like oh this is my um this is my boyfriend claim him you know it's like oh this is my boyfriend such and such and he'll if he looks weird like oh no i'm not your boyfriend or if he just go introduces himself and go oh yes hi blah, blah, blah. that means you're kind of his girlfriend now because he didn't he didn't say oh you know we're just friends you know he didn't correct you so you keep introducing him as your boyfriend and then he's going to get around to say oh so i'm your boyfriend now huh it's like yeah i guess you kind of are aren't you do you want to be and he'll say he'll be like yeah you know it's that easy you just can't be afraid you just have to go for what you want um, in a subtle way, you know, and he'll love the fact that you claimed him first and introduced him to your friends and that you were proud of him. And like when you introduce him to your friends, like say something nice about him, like, oh, this is such and such, my boyfriend, isn't he, um, you know, isn't he great? He, he treats me so well, you know, I, I've never, you know, he treats me so well. It's like, I just love being with him you know just say something sweet like that that you don't have to tell the person what he does for a living and stuff like that because that kind of represents like you only with him because of that say something nice about him as, as a character oh he's so funny he makes me laugh I can't stop laughing when I'm with him you know uh, you know and just smile the whole time keep smiling and the whole time you're with him have a happy look on your face. It doesn't have to be a smile. But just look happy and satisfied. You know, everything he does is great. You can't get enough of him. Don't become obsessed. Always, you know, always cut it short when he when he's like really into it. It's like, oh, you know what, honey, I gotta go. You know, I, I hate to leave you, but I gotta go. I gotta get up tomorrow early. But I'm gonna see you tomorrow, you know, if you want to. Oh yeah, okay, well maybe we can meet for lunch or something. Yeah, okay, so the more you see him, the more you cut, like pull yourself back when he's, you know, getting really used to you, pull yourself back. Go, oh, I gotta go, I can see you tomorrow. Like always promise him another day. Always promise him the next day, you know. Uh, even if he says I can't do it, just always let him know it's his. And so he'll understand that you're trying to be with him. And before you know it, he's going to get so used to you. He's going to get so fond of you. He's going to feel so good around you that he's going to just go ahead and make it official. You know, look, I really like you. I think we should be together. Let's take this thing to the next level. So, you know, if we're going to do that, maybe we can get you, um, you know, maybe you can move in or maybe you can get, we can get your, your own apartment if you don't live alone. Um, blah, 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 blah. You know, he'll be trying to upgrade you so that you can be with him even better. 
um, then he'll, if you're not doing anything with your life, he'll offer you probably, if he's financially stable and has a lot, he'll probably offer you money to go to school to do something, you know, or to start your business or something. So take, make sure you take that opportunity as well to better yourself because the only reason he's trying to better you is so that you can better represent him as a wife in the future. Because nobody wants to introduce their wife as, oh, hey, this is a girl I met online who was on the Sugar Daddy website looking for, you know, whatever. No. Oh, you, he wants to introduce you as something. You know, you're beautiful, but what else can you do? You know, so go to real estate school, learn how to buy property or, you know, go get some type of degree and something online you know just something you know get something go to go to culinary school like i did um do, do something that you like that you uh start your own business an online business oh this is my wife such and such she has an online business blah, blah, blah. you know or oh this is my wife such and such she's into real estate or oh this is my wife such and such she has her own consulting uh online business blah, blah, blah. you know it sounds good you fit into their world they don't look at you like you're nothing you know so because that's important they don't they want to see a pretty face and that you have substance as well so if, if he offers you the education take it okay I don't even care what it is if he offers you money to start a business start one you know um, make it successful men like women who have who they can introduce to people without feeling embarrassed you know like they bought them so like I I notice when my husband introduces me and he um people ask what do I do, he'll answer for me. He like he doesn't he doesn't say um he does, he's like, Oh, this is my wife, uh da -da 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 -da. and then the guy the guy or the lady will go, Oh, well what do you do? And she's like, Oh he'll go, Oh, well she used to be a mortician and da da da, -da. and then oh that's interesting. And you know, they're proud of the fact that you actually accomplished something but you're also taken care of. And used to be is not I am now you know and so um, it's good to have something there to fill that void you know they don't want to be seen as you know somebody that's getting used and things like that they, you gotta have some type of title you know uh, <laughs> it's but you know they don't they don't want you to outshine them though you know that's the whole point don't you can't outshine them if you're dating somebody and you're more successful than them then they introduce you they're gonna be like oh this is my wife she's a you know attorney da, 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 da. and but he's like making a lot less money then they're gonna look at him like you know this girl's getting ready to run all over you <laughs> you're probably gonna be her slave or, you know stuff like that so that's why it's important for you not to outshine him in the career but in the looks and be the envy you know be the envy of all his friends and all the guys you know so also be classy enough not to entertain his friends if they're interested in you you know I know a lot of women go through this because they never had attention from certain type of men and when they get with one man and their friend shows interest it's like oh his friend is cuter but you don't know his story he might have a girlfriend or a wife and not tell you and then he might tell your friend and then you might lose him so don't be dumb and fall for that okay <laughs> because they will try okay a lot of guys have fake friends too you just don't know it so make sure that you're representing him you're representing him in looks don't have no crazy outlandish looking um, outfits on when, when he takes you out uh, be able to introduce yourself and have hold a conversation you know be able to switch hats whenever you have to and it's just you you're his representative you're his first lady like if he's the president he he needs a first lady that's what men go for the first lady now a successful men they like a little bit of both you know you have to have the looks you have to have something to talk about you have to have you know some some type of thing they can introduce you with like you know real estate da da da, da something just lie. I don't care. Nurse. You know, anything. Because their friends, they all want to know. Like, when, when guys that are financially stable introduce you to other financially stable people, the first thing they go for is your career. What do you do? Like, they don't ask you, oh, where are you from? Or what do you like to do? Or which, you know, what's your favorite wine? They, what do you do? 
<laughs> you can't say him. I do him. Because, <laughs> I mean, you could, but, <laughs> you know, they might get the wrong impression. So, just like, oh, you know, I have an online business and I do consulting. That's all you got to say if you don't have anything. You know, it sounds better than, oh, I don't know. I don't do anything. So, just make sure that you're able to represent him and he will see you more as a wife or a girlfriend type. Someone, someone he can be with and depend on and trust around other people and with his image. Okay, because that's his reputation as well. So, um, make sure if you live in a small town that you haven't dated all his friends. Because that's not going to work. And make sure that you keep it classy. Men like classy wives, okay? Classy, less cursing. You know, um, improve your vocabulary, improve your speech. Make him be proud when he sees you. You know, when you walk into a room, he should smile every time. Everybody else should be happy for him because he found someone. You know, and things like that. They shouldn't look at you like, oh, I don't like her for you. You know, she's not good enough for you. You shouldn't be getting that look. You should be getting to look like, oh, I'm so glad he found someone. Or jealousy. Oh, why he with her? You know, she she looks, she thinks she's too good. That's the look you should be getting when you're with a financially successful man. You shouldn't be getting like, oh, what is, what is he doing with her? You know, this doesn't make sense. I mean, she's trash. You shouldn't be getting that, okay? If you're getting that, you're probably not going to be wife. So, class it up, okay? I, I've seen a lot of girls thinking certain outfits are cute. They're cute if you're single and not looking for a, a husband or a long-term boyfriend. There's t different types of clothes that you have to wear depending on what you're planning to do, you know? Now, a lot of these online stores, they have cute clothes. But all the outfits that they put together are trashy and they'll have you thinking it's classy but don't fall for it go and google classy clothing or classy style and this this and that because you'll you'll be on a website shopping and you're like oh that's cute together but it might be cute together but it's not classy okay and you want to represent someone in the best capacity you don't want to look like a prostitute on their arm especially if they're a little older you want to look like a class act, like you have some sense in your head, not like you're a Kardashian, okay? They can do that because of the industry that they work in. But you can't walk around like half naked and think that you're representing him as a wife, okay? Just remember that, okay? A lot of women don't realize that that's part of it. And also a lot of ladies curse. Cursing is not feminine. Like, you can't just blab off at the mouth and say a bunch of bad words and think that it's cute. It's not cute. And a lot of people that have, um, like, a lot of curse words in their vocabulary, sometimes it's seen as lower class. So, class up your vocabulary, class up your style, class up your look, you know, uh, more polished. You know your posture keep your posture good you got to be like you know you're the first lady you're the first lady of y'all's relationship and you should act like it you know be be a good example like um, don't do things don't get drunk and act the fool you can't do none of that stuff because guys hate that okay guys hate that when women get drunk and act stupid in front of their friends they get embarrassed so you got to keep that as well on a decent level. Three, two, two or three drinks, good, you know, and just chill. You don't have to get drunk. A lot of women have, have come to me with this problem. Oh, my boyfriend broke up with me. What happened? Oh, I got drunk and embarrassed him in front of his friends and his mom. I'm like, girls, you over because they're always going to remember that. <laughs> You know, um, so make sure you're controlling your alcohol intake. Don't drink like a fish when you're out with him. Don't curse in front of people like that he might know. Um, keep your looks classy. Uh, make sure that you're not um, making him think that this is it's short term. Keep using the words we, us, making future plans together and things like that, okay? You keep making the future plans, he'll keep thinking of you in the future okay that's how a lot of women 
have landed their sugar daddy and turned him into their husband, okay? They did that. Now, if you don't want to marry that type of man and you want the total Prince Charming package, looks muddy, da 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 um, then you have to have those same things, okay? At least you don't have to have the money, but you got to have everything else, okay? And plus, those type of guys who are that young and good looking and, and rich, they're not probably going to be ready to settle down until they're much older anyway. So you might be a girlfriend, but you might not make it to wife. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my clock says it's time for me to go to bed. You might not make it to wife if you date too young. Like if the guy is too young. You know, that's what that's another thing. If the guy is too young, he's going to want to play, explore, you know, see what all his options are. And you're going to be disappointed because, you know, he's going to date you for a long time. And then, you know, when you're bored, boring and he's done with you, he's going to dump you for next, the next chick. And he might end up marrying her later on or the one after her because men play a long time before they seriously settle down so stop trying to get these guys in their 20s to get married those are the worst type of men to marry because they're not done fooling around and playing yet okay so ladies aim for i would say 38 and up if you're trying to get married don't marry too young because chances are that man is not done exploring his options and if you try to trap him too soon and he cheats you're gonna be mad okay so unless you just married him for his money and you don't care but if you're marrying for the total package you need to wait or get someone older you know because not all guys are marriage minded in fact that's like the furthest thing from their mind and unless they're older so stop trying to rush marriage with young men if you want to hurry up and get married and get an older man especially if you want security and represent him use the words we and introduce him as your boyfriend or your man, okay? I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.